Uh, Dan, you were actually one of my first exposures to FFL on LinkedIn. Um, so thank you for that. And, and I, rem <laughs> I remember it being one of the most polite sales pitches ever. And I think I told you that. Um, and that was back in August. Has your, I remember that exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Has your approach changed at all? Like, how do you do your sales pitches now on LinkedIn? Um, so it, it's changed a little bit. I'm a little bit more direct now, um, but I still just open it up like, hey, I see we're in the same industry. Let's connect. Mm -hmm. Cheers, Dan. And I just blast that out to 100 people a day. And I said, hey, how are you liking X, Y, and Z company right now? How's it going for you? And I just said, LinkedIn's a little bit different than like a normal, um, you know, getting someone on ZipRecruiter or Craigslist or something. I just want to foster conversation. And I just want to see if someone wants to get on the phone, have a quick chat, you know, just kind of talk about what they're doing over there. And then some, you know, just how it generally works is, you know, once we start talking about how we do stuff over here, people are like, what? That exists? And it's not really a sales pitch when you do it on LinkedIn. It's just having that conversation from professional to professional to see if there, there's better opportunities out there for people. Because that's why people are messaging you back on LinkedIn is because they're looking for other opportunities. If they right. weren't looking for it, they wouldn't for answer you, right? So you, you just want to have that, you know, a, more of a personal conversation. And typically when, I, when I'm talking to folks on LinkedIn, it's, it's not an immediate hire. It's just an initial conversation. And then I send them like a Sean like overview video because they typically ask more information at the end of it. And hey, you know, go take some time, look at this video, and let's get something uh, on the books for, for, for tomorrow. Right? And I always, I always want to schedule a follow-up interview after that, just so that we have, you know, again, a communication. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much how I do my LinkedIn. Keep it simple. It's very rarely a, a one high. I actually, I don't want to hire people on the first interview on LinkedIn, because that means that they're, they're probably actually very flaky. So mm -hmm. I don't ever want to hire someone on the first go around. I always want to send them a video and then we have a follow-up conversation. So that way they can actually have time to think things over. Because if someone's not actually sitting down and looking over like Sean Mike stuff or how, you know, they haven't researched the company, but they want to jump all in, that's probably not someone you actually want on your team because they're probably not actually willing to go through and do all the research on the back end. And that's actually happened to me a few times. And then the person flakes, what did I expect? Right. When I told him it's a good opportunity over here, you jump ship immediately. Like you probably didn't actually do the research. So you want to really foster that conversation on LinkedIn um, for folks that are serious.